Leave me be, all of you. So here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes to treat a fellow mortal soul like Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I've found the locals to be rather stubborn. Yep. You're back. Of course. I always keep my word. I don't doubt that naturally. Did you deliver my will? <laughs> yep. It lies securely in the safekeeping of Father Fabian. What a relief. Don't worry. I brought a remedy from Sasau. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy. You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God mm. bless you. I can't stand it anymore. Huh? Hey, Why are you waiting? Uh. No, go away. Uh. Tell me more about the situation here. Oh. All right, that's all I need to know. Christ, How are the sick and wounded faring? I, can't I don't stand think there's anything anymore. more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. Uh... Good day to you. We found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young straw. The fucking bastards! I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. 
It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know. But even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Don't fret about that, Melikar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. So, <coughs> take good care of her. Now open up that shed. Now let's wait and see what happens. Oh, shit. I've had Are you serious? I can't bear the pain. Warten wir noch. Dann warten wir doch einfach mal eine Stunde. Nee. Äh. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick. And not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long, if you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. 
Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da like a lord. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privislov, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Hmm. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Privis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Privis Lovitz and decided not to show. <sighs> Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All <coughs> you do is give me the coin... And then we went our separate ways. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. <sighs> That's all. Hmm. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I already told you everything I know... I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end.
Come on. <laughs> this game. Warum? Was soll das? Toll. Ja, viel Spaß beim Rollzocken. Welcome back to the land of the living. My name is. Oh, you'll have. How so? I won't give you. That's sense. <sighs> Only I'd like. I understand. What do you want? Everything. I follow. That's not. I got. Who's the chief? Ban. So he's a fuck. Don't think. So. Judging by how he looked. More. By Where's that chief of yours now? I've no. So the chief. You could. How's that? You are. There was all men came. I suppose so. It was one I didn't give. Uh -huh. How did you know about. A fellow by the name of Morcock. Why did you attack me? The chief himself. So he's planning more raids? The chief's all. So you knew the. Of course I. Did you? Um, like. We used to meet at the church. So men hearts wait. Might be. And just how oh, shit. It'd be a way. Who else knows about the pub? You said every uh, give it uh, What were the That's all I need to know for That's for Sir Radzig to judge. <laughs> 